My name is G Harland and I am a third year journalism student here at Cardiff University and today I'm going to be uh, walking you around the main building and discussing to you uh, what you should expect at an open day and um, all the reasons why you should definitely consider attending one. Um, so without further ado I'll explain some of the reasons why I think that you should come to an open day. First it's the perfect opportunity to get all your questions answered. We have a lot of students uh, helping out at the open day so they are definitely the best people to um, ask your questions to. Um, you have to consider they've been here um, for a while now, they're living the life of a student at Cardiff University so they definitely have the most accurate and honest answers for you. Um, another reason why you should come to an open day is you may be spending the next three years of your life here minimum so you'll definitely want to come and have a look at what it looks like, what you should expect uh, attending here as a student. Um, Cardiff is a stunning place, um, a stunning university so just make sure that you do consider coming down, um, looking around and taking photos because um, it is just like a really wonderful day that you should be a part of. Okay, so um, today we are outside the main building here um, on Museum Avenue site. This is where you'll want to go first on your open day to collect um, your registration packs and programs. You'll need your Eventbrite tickets for this. Um, we have Cardiff University Wi-Fi here that you can connect to and this is great because you can download our open day app which is really awesome because you get to you know look at all the different talks that we have going on um, the tours we have of accommodation academic buildings um, so you can sort of look at that look at everything that you want to do put it all in a timetable in that case you don't miss anything that you really want to do when you attend an open day so I'll just show you here the entrance of the main building. As I said, this is Museum Avenue side. You can also uh, sign in on the other side, which is Park Place, which you'd probably recognize more. There'll be lots of food markets here on the day and also some general talks in the main building. These talks will be things like finance, um, advice for parents. So again, just look at your programme when you arrive, take notes of like what talks you want to go to, you know, prioritise. The app will really help you with things like that. So what I'm going to do now is just take you out of the sort of main bit of the main building and show you Alexandra Gardens just across the road. This is a really nice um, green part of Cardiff. We have lots of green places for you to go and visit um, like here on your open day and whilst you're here throughout university. Sorry, just crossing the road. Sorry for any noises from vehicles and other people. <laughs> Alexandria Gardens is nice, it's sort of a 10 minute walk to some of your lectures and seminars and there are academic buildings on the other side of the park. So I'll just show you the entrance here. These buildings are called Butte and Glamorgan and you'll probably find you're doing some lectures and seminars in there if you're studying sociology, architecture, different courses like that. Um, in first and second year I had uh, my journalism lectures and seminars in that building in the Butte um, but now the School of Journalism has moved into the city centre which is lovely because I get to be in the city every single day. Um, if you did not know already Cardiff University is a city university not a campus um, which means that not all the academic buildings are in the same place uh, but don't worry everything is in walking distance so it's all ease of access there are many other great places in the city you can go other than <laughs> the school of journalism we have saint david's center which is a shopping center that also has a food court um, so if you're going into the city on your open day, which I definitely recommend that you do, you can go in there, grab some lunch. There's also other things to do in the city, sort of um, mini golf events, um, go to Cardiff Castle, which is really nice. We're just walking now uh, down 
the Museum Avenue side, past some academic schools. We have Sir Martin Evans here, uh, the Law Building. I also had some lectures in these buildings in my first year and they're really nice. On the other side of these buildings is Park Place. This is where you know most of the academic schools are and it's always you know full of life, full of students. We have psychology tower we also have our student union there i love our student union it's definitely one of the best i've seen out of uh you know my friends universities that i visited and other open days they hold um so many events uh, music events gigs that i've been to a lot of um club nights it's also where we hold most of our societies and um clubs that you can be a part of you can find out more about those either on our student union website or in student union on our open day so definitely make sure that you go and visit there um, obviously the student union is not the only great place in Cardiff that holds really nice events we also have winter wonderland which will be held outside city hall which is just back in the opposite direction of the other side of the main building um, this is amazing. It's a very Christmassy event held over the Christmas period and it's definitely one of my favourite things to do at Cardiff. You'll also find City Hall, you'll recognise it as many students take their graduation photos outside of there. Really stunning uh, green place just like Alexandra Gardens. We also have places outside of Cardiff University that you can visit and Cardiff City. Uh, we have Penafan. Barry Island, uh, the university frequently holds give it a go sessions for students to you know, travel to these places and enjoy Wales as a whole. I am from Barry, so I definitely recommend you go and visit on a sunny day. Um, we're just walking up here the end of Museum Avenue side and I will uh, one of our more popular student accommodations. Um, I lived in Tybont North first year and I loved it. Um, I definitely recommend you go on accommodation tours. Most of the tours are student led. This is a great opportunity to get your important questions answered and I'm sure students are more than happy to answer these questions for you. I also couldn't recommend enough that you take photos, lots and lots of photos. On my open day, I just didn't take any photos and then when it came to moving in and decorating my room, I had completely forgotten what it looked like. Um, if you do that, like me, we do have virtual 360 tours um, online that you can have a look at, which um, is brilliant, you know, if you're silly like me and forget to take photos. So um, as you, those houses there, Taliban is sort of a 10, 15 minute walk down that direction. Um, there will be buses running to and fro there on the open day again. Just look at your program um, if you want to go down and have a look over there. Uh, in this direction behind me is Kutay's. This is where you might find you live second or third year. It's where most of our students look for housing. And then in the opposite direction, I'll take you up there in a second, sorry it's very loud, um, is Park Place. As I mentioned before, we have our academic buildings down there, our student union. We also have construction for our student, our new student like, wellbeing centre, which is sort of an expansion of um, the wellbeing and counselling services we already hold. What I've shown you thus far is Kate's Park Campus. As I mentioned, it's City University, so not everything's in the same place. We have a second campus called Heath Park Campus. Um, this is where you'll go if you're doing sort of um, health courses, dentistry. Um, there will be activities up there for you to do on the open day. Again, just make sure you're looking at your program and you're using the app so you're not missing out on anything that you really want to see. So I'll just take you up here um, and show you Park Place. Um, it is really busy, as I've mentioned, it is sort of the centre of where all students are studying, so it's very busy. Um, and obviously we've had the construction of the new Student Life Centre. So I'll just show you behind. Okay. That big tower there is the Psychology Tower. So you can also go down there, have academic talks, tours, etc. on your own. We attend our open day on Saturday. There are still some places left. If you can't attend, just check online for future open days that we are holding. 
um, and make sure that you get down and see us. Um, I can't wait to meet some of you. Um, I hope you have fun at your open day um, and thank you for watching. Bye!